I am convinced that no challenge poses a greater threat to our future and future generations than a changing climate. Climate change is no longer just about the future that we're predicting for our children or our grandchildren. It's about the reality that we're living with every day, right now. That is why we have set an ambitious goal for our country that Sweden will be among the first fossil-free welfare nations in the world. And this is not only a matter of climate altruism, it's also in our best economic interest. That's why I can sit here today and challenge other countries, other partners, to take on the challenge to become fossil-free nations, because I want to know who will be first. We need to define a safe operating space within planetary boundaries to be able to support human future. Climate is therefore set in an integrated systems perspective of also safeguarding biodiversity, fresh water, land, nitrogen, phosphorus, air pollution, and that these are like three musketeers, one for all, all for one. One country that has done a good job. Sweden has decarbonized its electricity. From the beginning to the end, when we are driving the car, it's green. It sends a very nice message to the, the, to the whole world that we can do it together. Is this the Swedish secret? A common sense and a sense of the commons? Makes you wonder, what is it the Swedes know? How do they do it? And most importantly, for a country only about the size of a large American state, why? Why do it? Why lead the world?